Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Universities across the country are experiencing dips in number of international students studying at their institutions. It's led to speculations about what could be causing the drops, but as Lindsay Wright reports, leaders say regardless, the trend needs to be reversed. As you drive down this main strip in Terre Haute, American flags line the street as far as the eye can see. But several weeks ago, dozens of other national flags took flight alongside them here at Center City Apartments. Saudi Arabia is there. We have a lot of students from Saudi Arabia living here in the building. Mike Ellis owns the complex where nearly all 33 units are rented out by international students studying at Indiana State University. I felt like by flying the flags, of the various nations where the, many of the students come from, that it was sending a message to those students that we not only want them here, but we are welcoming to them being here. It's not a matter of tolerating it, it's a matter of wanting them and welcoming them. Ellis says his message is in response to what he describes as unwelcoming language directed at people coming to the U.S. from other countries. It's something state education leaders believe could be contributing to a decrease in international students studying here. According to an analysis of U.S. Department of Homeland Security data, international enrollment dropped by about 4 percent between 2016 and 2017 nationwide. Indiana's numbers are following a similar trend. ISU's international student enrollment has dropped to just over 600 students compared to more than 900 in 2015. And Indiana University's numbers, which have been growing steadily for the last decade, are also taking a turn. This past year was the first, uh, first year, I believe since 2006, that we've seen an, a decline in international student enrollment. It's something that IU student Adeline Iskandar Zukarnain is worried about. She's the president of the Malaysian Student Association. The number of members in the association dropped from 100 last semester to less than 50 this fall. Th that is um, quite concerning for us because we still want to keep our student association going, but if we didn't receive any new students, um, that's um, a problem. Earlier this year, IU President Michael McRobbie issued a scathing letter calling the trend tremendously problematic. He points to a number of factors, including anti-immigration sentiments. It's something Wilkerson says international students are absorbing more through American politics. I was in Rome the night of the election and was at uh, doing a presentation at an American international school the next day. And it was the first time in 14 years of doing this work that I was asked by a student if Indiana was a red state or a blue state. Wilkerson says other factors include increased global competition, some places offering clearer paths to citizenship or residency, and safety concerns. When we consider those factors alongside rising costs of higher education in the United States, there's, there's a leveling that's happening, I think, in, in terms of global influences upon student migration and, you know, seeing students ask the question of return on investment. Purdue is one university where international enrollment remains stable. In fact, the institution is in the top ten in the country for enrollment. International Programs Dean Michael Brzezinski says it's a point of pride for the school. Although he says rhetoric probably has turned some away, he says Purdue has worked hard to embrace international students on campus, and the benefits are wide-reaching. There's not a job out there nowadays that doesn't require some aspect of that, what I'm going to just call intercultural competency. What better way to train people for that than to have that microcosm of the world here on our campus? Not to mention, international students in 2016 contributed a billion dollars to the state. Although Wilkerson says a number of factors are to fault for the changes in enrollment, IU refuses to take the wait-and-see approach. Being proactively engaging with students, making sure that we are sharing with them the message of the community, doing that in a way that is candid and accurate and consistent, and Ellis says he's hoping to start a conversation in his community. He's encouraging residents to reach out if they want to see their flag flying, even if it means wrapping his whole building. I don't care where they're from. I don't care if they're black or brown or white or red or yellow. Everyone should be welcome in this country, and I can assure you, from my perspective, they are. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Lindsay Wright.
IU Board of Trustees recently approved a new $17.5 million international student center that will be located in the heart of campus. Wilkerson says it will enhance the university's commitment to international learning. Construction is expected to start next, next spring.